Hey everybody, and welcome to Lockdown Brewers. I'm your host, Chuck Freeman. The Brewers bounce back after losing on Friday night a 5-4 win over the Boston Red Sox. We'll recap this one, talk about a few other things regarding Sunday's game. Beautiful night for baseball at Amphill. Oh, Brewers back and have yet to lose back-to-back -back games this year. We'll talk about it next here on Lockdown Brewers. You are Locked On Brewers, your daily Milwaukee Brewers podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Lockdown Brewers. Chuck Freeman, your host. Been covering the Milwaukee Brewers for over 40 years. Work for WIBA Radio, the morning sports anchor, and I cover the Brewers for AP Radio as well. A lot of you know me as a known me as a sports talk show host in the Milwaukee area for a long, long time. It is great to be talking Brewers baseball with you seven days a week after every game. We are right here. A little shorter version on Saturdays and Sundays. We know you don't have a lot of time out there, so we try to pop in a, a recap and talk about the, the next day's game all the time. Uh, because the Brewers are seven days a week in most cases. And, you know, they're playing some great baseball. Got the win five, holding on against the Red Sox. The Red Sox and Brewers will play on Sunday afternoon at 110. Catch every pitch of Brewers' hometown broadcast, Sirius XM, on the SXM app, Search Brewers. Thanks for making Lockdown Brewers your first listen to every day. Uh, coming up here on the show today, we'll look ahead to tomorrow's matchup, of course, and you know, tonight, the Brewers just flat out uh, got off to an early lead in this game. Rowdy Telez, seven home runs in 19 games. He's got the highest OPS in Major League Baseball history against the Boston Red Sox. He's got 14 career home runs against them. His batting average is like 344. He destroys Red Sox. And uh, another home run, just like the one last night, a rocket to right field put the Brewers out to a 3 nothing lead, and they never looked back and went on to 5-4. William Contreras and Ryan Anderson had back-to-back -back doubles early in this game, uh, and that got the Brewers on the board. So uh, the starting pitcher for the Brewers today, Wade Miley, uh, did not make it through third time around in the order. They got him out of there around five innings, four hits, pitch count in the 80s or so, so We'll, we'll talk about that when we go through the box score, but he turned it over to the bullpen. Piamps did give up a two-run home run. That's the first long ball he's given up this year. But Devin Williams was great on his way to an all-star season. One, two, three in the ninth inning. Hobie Milner, who has struggled in the last couple of appearances out of the bullpen, got out of a tough situation. Uh, Devers, Rafael Devers, who homered earlier in the game on Piamps in the sixth inning and cut into that three-run lead. Um, Devers struck out with the tying run on second base. Hobie Miller got him down on strikes. And then Williams came on in the ninth inning, one, two, three. Great win for the Brewers. They're all great. Uh, but I, I I guess I keep thinking, when are they going to go on a little bit of a losing skit here? Because they've been playing so good, so consistent baseball. But they'll have a lousy night. Okay. Last Saturday, lousy, bounce back. One one nothing in San Diego. Yesterday, not very good. Okay. Red Sox dominated the game. Brewers came back today, got out early, rode the rowdy to Les and went on their way to the win. So, I mean, it's not going to be like this all year long. It's tough to keep up this pace of not losing two in a row. You're going to have a skit. There's, there's going to be a time this season when they lose three, four, five, maybe more games in a row. There's going to be a time when they win that many as well, but that's been their best, biggest key so far as far as uh, the win and loss ledger is they've been consistent. They have not put up together. They have not put together. They're losing. And out and again, adding off to that slow start, seven home runs in 19 games will take it. So we get the win. Blake Perkins, a whole bunch. Uh, Flying around the bases, got his first hit, first run scored, uh, and that was great. And then got the bucket of Gatorade dumped on his head after the game in the interview with Sophia. So um, no more news on Garrett Mitchell. 
We're going to find out more on Monday when he gets a second opinion on that shoulder. We were telling you yesterday, of course, the news that um, the shoulder needs potentially needs surgery, but he is not going to be back for um, a significant amount of time. Today's show brought to you in part by Game Time. Game, uh, if you want to buy tickets for, let's say, the game coming up today or concert tickets, uh, basketball tickets, theater tickets, Game Time is the way to go, especially the last minute. That's when they're the best. I bought last minute tickets for a few Brewer games last year. Last second, got two seats behind the visitor's dugout. For 10 bucks a piece. That's the deal. Game time. Forget planning months in advance. Game time has deals right up until the day of the event. Get exclusive flash deals on the tickets for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. The game time guarantee means you always get the best price. You find tickets in the same section and roll for last game time will credit you 100%, 110% of the discounts. Buy tickets in a matter of seconds, two taps, and you're all set. Here's what you need to do download the game time app, create an account. Use the promo code locked on MLB. That's locked on MLB. Once per term apply, create an account, redeem the code locked on MLB for 20 bucks off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Magic number for the Milwaukee Brewers to clinch is 141. 141 games, and they are going to the Jackson Jackson Churio. Uh, had three hits in the first game of a doubleheader tonight. He's not long for Biloxi. Uh, he continues to rate down there. I believe he had one hit in the second game uh, as of this broadcast so far. But Jackson Churio, fantastic. Um, so that's the good news with him. Uh, wish we had some more news on Garrett Mitchell. Uh, defensively, the Brewers just outstanding. Weimer made that catch up against the wall tonight. Wasn't robbing anybody of a home run there, but going back on it, making a veteran-like catch, up against the wall at AmFam Field, took away extra bases, and that was a, a big play in the game. And the defense has just been phenomenal. Leal, wherever Weimer plays, he's been an A-plus outfielder. Well, Garrett Mitchell what is up, has been out there. Of course, Brian Anderson all over the place has been terrific. Adamas has been a little spotty at shortstop, but Bryce Terang at second. Even the, the big fella, Rowdy Telez over at first base, William Contreras, had um, he's had a couple of errors this year. But for the most part, the pitch framing, outstanding for him. So I would say defense continues to be really, really good for the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, today's show brought to you in part by Lockdown. Uh, uh, to you by So Rare here on Lockdown. So Rare, a revolutionary fantasy baseball game and marketplace transforming fans and owners with officially licensed cards featuring players from across all 30 MLB teams. Uh, game weeks happen Twice weekly, span of three or four days. At the end of game weeks, so rare managers who rank near the top of their leaderboards or at the top win a variety of prizes, jerseys, game tickets, merchandise, signed jerseys, VIP experiences like meeting some of the MLB stars, all on so rare. So how do you get going on this? So rare.com slash locked on. That's spelled so rare, S-O-R-A-R-A-R-E.com, S-O-R-A-R-E.com. Draft your team of Free player cards, set your lineup, start competing today, win epic awards. Again, that's so rare, slash locked on to start playing today. All right, the windup of this uh, short series, the three-game series before Detroit on Monday, and the next weekend it's the Los Angeles Angels. Ryan Bello goes for Boston Red Sox. Experienced a little bit of an elbow issue uh, in spring training, made a start couple of days ago and it was not good um i'll give you the exact numbers on it in fact uh he made the start um back on april 17th against the angels went two and two-thirds gave up eight hits five runs all earned he did strike out five but he's coming back and yeah, he was not good against the angels at fenway back on the 17th corbin burns goes for milwaukee and corbin uh He's coming back from that injury. Well, he had come out of the game last Tuesday uh, in Seattle. Threw on the sidelines the next day. Had his bullpen session yesterday at AmFam Field. All signals are go for Corbin Burns. He will not miss a start. Let's give you the box score today. Let's see uh, how some of these guys have fared in the lineup today. Um, we told you about a couple of them, but I want to 
go through all of them. Uh, for the Brewers, Yelich led off with two for four. Nice day. Two runs scored, a walk. So he got on base three times. Jesse Winker went 0 for 3. Willie Adamas had a big hit, big night. He went 3 for 4. Rowdy Telez, 1 for 4. The two-run blast. William Contreras went 1 for 4. And Anderson, 1 for 3. Bryce Terang took an 0 for 3 today. Uh, Joey Weimer, another 0 for 3. He's back below the 200 mark. He's at 197. And Blake Perkins went uh, 1 for 3 today. Uh, let's give you the pitch. Wade Miley um, got the win. Went the five innings, four hits, the two runs, three strikeouts. He had eight strikeouts in his last outing. Gave up a home run in this game. But his ERA through four starts so far is 196. If you can get your number five starter with an ERA of 196, that is just fantastic. We'll take that from Wade Miley. Five innings today. And the bullpen, high amps, gave up run ball, 28 pitches in one inning. Rough one for him. Uh, two hits and two runs, two run blast. Strzelecki came in. Peter Strzelecki went an inning and a third, gave up a hit. Colby Milner bounced back. I told you about two thirds of an inning, two strikeouts there in the eighth inning. And Devin Williams gave him a hit um, and then struck out a batter and just uh, has not allowed yet this season. So it's Bellow against Burns coming up Sunday afternoon. And of course, uh, that game. You're driving around the country, catch every pitch of Brewers' hometown broadcast with Sirius XM. The game starts at 110, and the Brewers will be out to take two or three in the series. Uh, Brewers' hometown broadcast, Sirius XM, on the SXM app, search Brewers. I want to thank everybody out there for making Lockdown Brewers your first listen to every day. You everydayers out there who follow us on Twitter, drop the messages on YouTube. There's... I looked at the analytics. We have as many as 11 different countries and nations listening to this broadcast every day. That is fantastic. Europe, we got Asia covered. We got Great Britain covered. We got Mexico covered. Canada, the United States, you name it, you've tuned in all over the world to Lockdown Brewers, and I really appreciate that. Drop me a line anytime on Twitter, Chuck Freeman. That's Chuck, F-R-E-I-M-U-N-D. Looking forward to talking to you hearing your comments throughout the game as well. And, of course, we'll Monday through Friday, we go through those Twitter comments and we'll go through them when we have a little bit more time here on the show. But we try to keep it short and sweet for the weekend uh, podcast. That's going to do it. I'm Chuck Freeman for Lockdown Brewers. We'll talk to you after the wrap-up of that three-game series tomorrow. Lockdown Brewers, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube. You see the subscribe button. You hit the little bell bell. There, that bell is going to alert you every time we drop an episode. So hit that bell, and you'll be as good as gold, just like the Brewers are. Haven't lost two in a row all season. Let's uh, build on that winning streak. Sunday afternoon, going to be out there as a fan and be sitting in the stands, the old club section, which is my favorite near home plate. Looking forward to that. Have a great time uh, chowing down on some dogs tomorrow and uh, being out there for my favorite time to be out there, Sunday afternoon games. Chuck Freeman for Lockdown Brewers. Talk to you all tomorrow night, everybody.